Thanks for watching. What we're working on today is a Max Stone 10 made by Exceed RC. And we've had this since Christmas. It's been a, a good run in RC, with the exception of I think it's broke every single axle at least once. Um, and that's what we're going to do today. That's the problem right there broken axle. Uh, so let's dig into it and I'm going to take you step by step. Uh, we're going to step one, we're going to remove the body and pull the tire off. The tools I'm using today, 7 millimeter nut driver and a small Phillips screwdriver and a medium sized Phillips screwdriver. Uh, I have some axles. I bought some axles early on, <clears throat> and I went through them all already. They're they're pretty cheap. Each axle per side is like dollar fifty, but they sell them in a bag, so it's like three dollars a bag for two axles for either the right side or the left side. They could, and so they're both the same, uh, but they are different from left to right. They're a little bit longer on the other side. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to pull the body off. I'm sure you've all done that before, maybe. <clears throat> I'll take this tire off. That's what it looks like so far. Alright, I forgot to mention, you also need a 730 seconds wrench or socket or nut driver uh, to take this nut off right here. Actually, this comes in pretty handy too. Changing this axle is relatively pretty easy. It's pretty straightforward. You just take it apart until you get to it. <laughs> okay. I may shut the camera off time to time to skip ahead. Because some of this is pretty self-explanatory. All we're doing is we're removing these nuts and the screws. I just did the center link there and over here also. Um, I'm going to remove this too. Just to do it for the sake of doing it. It doesn't need to. What I've done in the past is I've actually taken this apart and taken the four screws that hold the differential together and I've separated and I've pulled out the axle. I've done that before too. But there's uh, bearings in there, so it's all going to come out anyhow. It'll be just easier to do that, take it all apart. So you're going to see me turn off the camera, and when I come back on, this will be out. This will be out. The axle will be off the truck. The drive shaft just slips apart. It's pretty, pretty easy to do. So go ahead and do that. You can. Alright, as you can see, I got some of it taken apart. I got the screws that go in here out on both sides. I've removed this stabilizer bar, I suppose we call it. So all I'm going to do now, I'm going to slide these off. These come straight off. Okay. There might be a little moisture in there because we just had it out. And I'm going to take this side. Maybe it'll come up. There we go. And then this comes apart. That's what's in there. You can see right there, I have a broken axle. You can see, that's where it is. So I'm going to pull this out. And you can see the moisture on there. And there is water droplets on the ring gear itself. So that's, that's telling me water's getting in there. It's not a waterproof unit. I've had this apart before, like I said, and I've changed these axles. And I've added my own grease to it. 
and I think what I'm going to do this time is maybe I'll add a little bit more grease, maybe just around the axle housing, just try to keep some of the water out. I don't know that it's going to do much of any good. The other thing we're going to need is a, a small flat screwdriver. Alright, I hope you don't mind. I got the camera in my hand. What I want to do is get a halfway decent close up. Maybe my camera's not very good. Uh, of the axle. And the C clip that has to be taken off before I take it off. You see that? It's just It just slides straight off on the opening there. The part that's in the differential itself, I think that it just comes straight out. All I could do is reach in there with a pair of pliers or something, your fingers, and it comes straight out. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. You can see that's all the extra grease I put on here. It's worked its way out of the ring gear. So uh, when I come back, I'll have that piece will be out, and I'll have this little bearing off this axle shaft and I'll show you how to install the bearing on the axle shaft and put the C-clip back on. Hold on. No. Alright, what I want to do is I'm taking this bearing off and it's a, it's a tight fit on the axle shaft so I'm just pushing down on the bearing with my fingers and I'm just tamping the axle down into my desk here. You can see the, the bearings moving down. Bearings off the shaft now. You just slide it off. And this is the C clip. Well, it's hard to see, but it just slides straight off. You stick the screwdriver in there, and it pops. Um, now I'm going to install this bearing on a new axle. Okay. Alright, so I got my new axle figured out which one I needed. Now I'm going to slip on the bearing to the axle shaft. And this one's a little looser. Tolerance isn't quite so much. I'm going to take that C-clip. Stick it right on the bearing. I know you can't see this. It's like almost impossible to film. Let me get it in my hand a little better. I'm just going to lay that on there. Oops, I pushed it up. Right again here. So you see I got the bearing all the way down as far as it'll go. I'm gonna try and push this C clip onto the axle. You can use your finger or a pair of pliers. I'm gonna use a pair of pliers. My fingers wore out. It should just slide straight on. It's on there. Bearings on. Hope you all saw that. Seat clips on. Make sure it's fully seated. It appears to be so. There's a little groove that it sits in. So I'm actually gonna install this here. It goes in one of two ways. That's it. It just slides into the differential there and that's it. Um <coughs> I think what I'm going to do now is go get some grease and re-grease this a little bit and then I'll put the housing on and I'll show how that's done. Alright, hold on. Alright, as you can see I have taken grease and then what I'm trying to do is just waterproof it a little bit. There's actually a little lip on this housing, this axle housing. And when I put these together hopefully it'll just seal up a little bit better than it was where there was nothing before and now there's something I don't want to use like silicone or something like that I just in my opinion putting stuff in there that could affect you know the clearances between the ring and pinion gear should it fall away and fall down in between the gear set you know could cause damage so I just grease if it falls down in there it's lubricating it. it's a good thing so 